Well, after making some customers wait weeks for air testing results, Lumber Liquidators is making a big move after seeing how thousands of tests turned out. The 7 on your side I team showed you concerning results from the local family's floor sample last night. Well, today, Lumber Liquidators announced it will stop selling Chinese-made laminate until a review is complete. Investigator Josie Sturman is here with what the company found. Josie? Well, Allison, up until yesterday, you could still buy this kind of laminate from Lumber Liquidators. But now that the company has gotten the results of more than 3,000 test kits, it's changed its mind, even though the vast majority of their results came back with acceptable levels of formaldehyde. Sandy and David Hicken have started taking drastic measures. We started encouraging our kids to stay the night at friends' houses. They don't want them staying inside with these floors. We don't want to be doing damage to our, our children or our pets. At this point, they don't know if they're doing damage keeping the laminate they bought from lumber liquidators. Like many other customers, they've been waiting for results of testing the company offered to do to check levels of formaldehyde. I don't understand how they didn't anticipate this level of demand. There's been demand for answers, and today lumber liquidators is providing some about Chinese-made laminate. The company says it's gotten the results of 3,400 air test kits. 97% of the homes came back with formaldehyde levels within guidelines from the World Health Organization. Still, the company is stopping the sale of Chinese-sourced flooring for now, saying despite positive results, it's the right decision. The Hickens are still mulling their own decision about whether to pull their floors. After samples tested by 7 on your side turned up formaldehyde levels in concern level red, labeled a probable contributor to indoor air quality. Living in a house that could be harming them, is, it's, it's a scary feeling. Lumber Liquidator says it's going to contact the less than 3% of families whose tests came back with higher levels. They could get further air testing or floor sample testing like the kind we did. But at this point, guys, many customers haven't heard from anybody. So they probably got their floors still in the house. They're wondering whether they need to go or whether they can stay and whether they'll get refunds or replacements for the laminate that they already bought. Josie Sturman, ABC 7 News. All right, good.